going to share with you some of my favorite bronzers. I figured since summer is approaching, I would share ones that I have been loving over the past few years and some are recent discoveries for me. I'm gonna show you both matte and shimmery. I'm wearing both matte and shimmery bronzers today. I like to use a matte bronzer to contour and then a shimmery one more for like that color and glow. No matter what your skin tone is, anyone can wear a bronzer. It's just gonna add dimension back into the face. I thought about doing maybe a favorite concealers and luminizers and blush and kind of do like a series. So if you guys want me to do that, please thumbs up this video and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. So let's go ahead and start with the matte bronzers. So the first bronzer that I'm going to share with you is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is huge in the beauty community. A lot of people rave about this bronzer for a good reason. I love this shade. It smells like I can't help but smell it every time I open it because it's made with real cocoa powder so it smells like chocolate. Chocolate plus makeup together equal perfection. It's the perfect mid-tone brown, so it's going to work for almost any skin tone, whether you're fair all the way up to like a medium, medium tan skin tone. It's beautiful, and I think this is the perfect introductory bronzer. If you're just getting into contouring, this will work for almost anybody. Next favorite is this bronzer from Bobbi Brown. I never hear anyone talk about this shade, but I know a lot of people love her bronzers. This is in the shade Natural Number no. 1. In the pan, it looks kind of scary if you have fair skin tones, but it looks so gorgeous on the skin. This one in particular has a little bit of a red undertone in it, so it makes you look a little bit more tan, a little bit more like you've been sun kissed because when you get in the sun your tan tends to have a little bit of a red undertone so this kind of mimics that. It's so creamy and so blendable and this bronzer really looks just like your skin. It's amazing. All you have to do is go to Sephora or your Bobbi Brown counter and swatch this and you will know what I'm talking about. I love her bronzers and they're absolutely beautiful, completely worth the price. Next is from MAC Cosmetics. This is a mineralized skin finish in the shade Give Me Sun. This is an oldie, but a goodie. I absolutely love it. The mineralized skin finish line is so sheer and natural on the skin, but it packs a punch when it comes to a color. This has a little bit of an apricot orangey undertone, not in like gross Oompa Loompa fake bake way, but in a really gorgeous, just sun-kissed way. I love this as more of a blush and bronzer in one. I don't really use it to contour because it does have that orange in it. I use it more for like a blush and bronzer. If you're fair, be a little bit careful because it can pull a little bit of that orange, but I absolutely love it and it really brings out a tan. Next, I have the Makeup Forever Matte Bronzer in the shade 20. This is a newer favorite for me and I absolutely love it. That's what I have on my cheeks today to contour. Now, if you've tried the Too Faced one and the Bobbi Brown one, this is like their baby. It's a perfect mix between the two bronzers because it's that mid-tone brown but it has a little hint of red in it and it's absolutely beautiful on the skin. The formula is so creamy and blendable. This is another one of those bronzers I think that would be good if you're just starting out with them. Just because the formula is so beautiful and it looks so gorgeous on the skin, it's natural but it gives you just enough color. I love it. My last matte bronzer is a stick foundation. This is by Bobbi Brown and I use this so much and I use a lot of creams and liquids to contour. I've tried a lot. This is by far my absolute favorite. This is in the shade number nine, Chestnut. Now I've seen a lot of people use her foundation stick in the shade Almond, I believe. And I looked at that one, but I think it's just a little bit too orange for me to contour. This looks extremely dark in the stick, and I was like, I don't know if this is going to work. It is perfect. It blends out beautifully on the skin. It doesn't show up this dark. I can put, you'll see in the swatch, I'll do a heavy swatch and show you it blended out. It blends so beautifully. Since it's a foundation, it's meant to look very natural on the skin but still cover, so it's perfect for contouring. She recently reformulated her foundation sticks, which I've heard are even creamier and even better, so I highly recommend these. They are very pricey. I was hesitant to buy it when I did, but it's completely worth it. Keep your eyes out for using this in a contouring routine soon. I do have some other tutorials recently where I have used this to contour. Now on to the shimmery bronzers. This first one you probably saw coming. This is from Bare Minerals. It was from their first resort little collection box, but on the back it says, the beach is waiting. 
I can't get enough of this bronzer. I've used it in so many tutorials recently. This actually has three shades, one that's more matte and then two shimmery colors. I love it. It looks gorgeous on the skin. I've used this in a lot of recent tutorials that you can go check out if you want to see it in action. It is so beautiful and this formula is very sheer but buildable so you can control just how much product you want. I would be fine using this as a contour and like a cheek color. It's gorgeous. You can use a dark one to contour. Personally, I mix them all together and it's like sun in a little package. I love it and I think this will be perfect for summer. Next is from a brand called The Balm. This is Betty Luminizer Bronzer. First of all, the packaging is adorable. I love The Balm's products. Their cheek products are so creamy and so easy to blend and very pigmented. This is no exception. It's the epitome of bronze. Like I look at this and it's just all I can say is that it's bronze. On the cheeks it looks gorgeous. The swatch won't even do it justice because it looks so much different when you put it on the face. The tanner you get the more beautiful this product will look. Highly recommend it. I usually get mine off of Hot Look. I'll link Hot Look down below. I think I got this for like $10, maybe a little cheaper because I think it's around $20 or $30 if you buy it off of their website. Next is a newer product from NYX. This is their new baked blush in the color Solstice. Holy moly, this is so beautiful. It's a terracotta with a little bit of an orangey bronze undertone. It's gorgeous on the cheeks. NYX is another brand where I love their blushes. I love their cheek products. Again, this is a product I would use as a blush bronzer. If you want to use blush still, I would apply this over your blush for a little bit of like that sheen to the color you put on your cheeks. So beautiful. NYX you can find at Ulta. It's really affordable and I love this product. You'll see in the swatch, it kind of speaks for itself. Another bronzer that I love is from Buxom. This is in the shade Maldives. It smells like coconuts and beach and coconut beachy is my favorite scent of life. It's a gorgeous brown bronzer with a little bit of a gold bronze undertone. The application is sheer but very buildable. I I can't stop smelling it right now, you guys, seriously. But in these products, ones that I use as like glowy blush bronzers, I like them to be more sheer so you don't pack on too much product and it doesn't look muddy. This, I've never had to worry about being muddy. I mean, I've packed it on before. I got this last summer and it never looked muddy. It's absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful and skin-like on the face. The shimmer in this is so finely milled that it's more of a sheen to the skin. Any skin tone can wear it. If you're darker, it'd be a gorgeous highlight. Then if you're fair, it's more medium tan. You will love this. Buy it now. Thank me later. It's amazing. So my last favorite bronzer, Take the Cake, is my favorite bronzer of life. And it was limited edition, which makes me really upset. I hate when MAC does that. But this is the perfect bronzy cheek you will ever find that I will probably ever find in my entire life. I've searched for a dupe high and low and haven't found anything yet, but this is Max in Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Double Definition. I've mentioned this so many times since I got it. I think it was last spring is when this came out. So they're launching some new colors soon. I hope maybe they'll re-promote this. I love this shade. Again, I have this on my cheeks today. I went through a phase last spring. As soon as I bought this, I wore a contour in this no blush for literally every single day for a month or two. Like, I could not quit it. And I like to switch up my makeup every day because it's kind of like clothes for me. Like, I like to try new things. I wore this every single day. If you can get your hands on it, please do. It gives you that perfect J-Lo glow. This gold shade is very similar to Whisper of Guilt, but it's not exactly the same. I actually have Whisper of Guilt on my cheekbones as well. But I like to mix them together, more on the bronze. Put it right over that contour. You can even put it over a blush, and it is life. Like this is life in a pan. I absolutely love it and that's all I have to say. I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm kind of on a bronzer kick right now so I would love if you would leave in the comments what bronzers that you're loving especially if you have any drugstore options because I haven't found a whole lot of drugstore bronzers that I really liked so please leave them in the comments. Also again if you want me to do like favorite concealers or luminizers or blushes please let me know anything down below and lastly if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would greatly appreciate if you did so we can be BFFs forever. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!